He just picked up this uh, old Olympus 35RC, really uh, one of the legendary classic rangefinder cameras. This thing is a real beaut. Uh, Olympus made a series of different rangefinders. This was kind of the middle of the road range. I don't know what it costs new, but this is known as just being a really phenomenal camera. Even though they made a lot of them, it wasn't terribly expensive. It's just really great. Fixed 42 millimeter 28 that is known to be really good and also a great focal length because it's normal for 35 millimeter. Uh, just really simple design. I mean, the shutter speed dial is really basic. It's bulb up to a 500th of a second and just really straightforward. Great bright viewfinder shows you your aperture and your shutter speed in the viewfinder. Uh, has an auto mode on it and of course a manual mode as well on this. Manual focus all the way, but really simple, clean manual focus. You just look through that bright viewfinder and you just line it up and you're off to the races. And just a really elegantly designed camera all the way through the features and down to the way it feels in your hand. I just love it, it's like a little brick. And honestly, I mean, I've seen a lot of the new kind of rangefinder throwback. And I even have a Micro Four Thirds digital, I've seen like the X100, and they're cool, but they, they don't have that solid, really nice feeling feel because they make them out of plastic and they just make them cheap. And this thing is, really great it's metal it's heavy that's what i love about these early rangefinders and i plan on getting more of them in fact i think i'm going to collect all the olympus series that uh, that they made like the 35 sp and there's a couple of them but this one is is the most compact has a ton of features it actually has more features than the leicas have even though it was a way less expensive camera go ahead and bring it in and just kind of show it up close here but uh just really clean simple i mean you can see it in the palm of my hand it's not big Film loads really easy, nice lens, simple, it's retro and very classy, really nice, easy wind. Even has a PC port where you can hook up strobes to it. Just a really neat, well-designed camera with a good fixed lens. And gosh, I paid like 60 or $70 for this thing. It's, it's just a, a bargain and it should be a joy to use. It looks really cool, so we'll see.